Okay. Let's go. Divide and conquer. Bop it. No. <laughs> Close. No. Insert sound effect of that working. <laughs> My name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls, and welcome back to another episode of Loft Vibes. In the last episode, we worked on our office space where we each had our own desks with drawers, and of course, the revolutionary ripped wallpaper wall. Today on Loft Vibes, we're gonna be tackling our boardroom slash lounge space. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and you enjoy our videos. We are so stinking close to two million, and any help we can get, would just be so appreciated. So if you remember in our second episode in this season of Law Fives, we actually already started like pulling the space together, but nothing was set in stone. We were only using the furniture that we had to make something that works so we could kind of use it. I am super excited to get started, but I'm also super excited that Casetify is sponsoring this video. As you guys know, we try to be our most eco-friendly, sustainable selves, and Casetify now has 100% compostable phone cases. So not only is the packaging itself eco-friendly, but the cases are made from a bamboo-based material, which is strong, flexible, and leaves no toxins behind. Also, I am obsessed with this color. It's like a beige flax, and it's so, so my vibe. So if you want to get one of these phone cases for yourself, go to casetify.com slash the story girl today to get 20% off all phone cases on Casetify's website. Also make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see what other fun product we got from Casetify, which is literally going to be the cherry on top of this whole boardroom. So first up, we need to get some curtains up on this window. We also have this giant glass garage door, which I'm sure you can see, and as much as I absolutely love the light it brings in, we do want privacy for safety reasons when we're not here. So I'm gonna head to the fabric store to pick up some options and we can figure out which one we like. Okay, another day in the office, and today is picking curtain fabric samples. <laughs> I went to the fabric store and I got like a ton of different ones. It's so deceiving in there. Like this one I thought would be like very green. This one doesn't let a lot of light through. No. Which is good for security but bad for just like diffusing light. Mm -hmm. I like that one. We went with a natural linen for the windows instead of a bright white because we just wanted to soften it up a bit. But we're gonna be picking up all the yards of fabric we need for that a little bit later, so stay tuned. Okay, it's the next day and we are assembling our wooden boardroom table, different from the wooden office table. This one's from Ikea, it's in a lighter wood because we wanna have kind of different zones around the office that have slightly different feels. This one's great because it can fit eight to 10 people, which is perfect for large meetings. So later that day, um, a really big thunderstorm hit Toronto, maybe a torrential downpour, I don't really know. Um, so, um, it's a pretty big rainstorm. Ah! Ah! We have no power in the office, and, um... Look at, wait, did you show them the best part? This, this was the best part. <laughs> we got, we got some, oh my gosh, some leakage. Uh, we learned the weak spots of the office, so we're gonna clean up this leak by the garage door as well as a couple of other spots. I didn't do my hack here, which is actually to use plants to catch leaks because then it waters your plants. It's like a win-win. Okay, it's the next day and I was browsing Facebook Marketplace, as I do, just to see what speaks to me, and I saw this insane wooden sideboard, and you guys don't even know the best part yet. Ooh, that's metal, not even Yes! LOL! <laughs> Get in the car, girl! Okay, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm already in my car, I'm on my way. This thing is beautiful, free, and I already see so much upcycle potential in it. I am gonna take on this DIY project all by myself. While Kelsey stays home and works on a new Making Home episode, subscribe so you don't miss it. It's The Bedroom, a really exciting episode. But I have been seeing so much of, I don't even know what the word is, I just wanna call it wood slatted furniture on Pinterest and it's my new obsession so I thought we could give it a try on this sideboard. I headed to the hardware store to pick up some square lattice pieces to make this happen.
Okay, it's the next day. I got this beauty here in the office. It's in spectacular condition, but it's only gonna get better from here. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is measure the square lattice to the height of the cabinet and then cut all of the pieces using our table saw. Next, I'm sanding down the entire thing to remove the shine to make it easier to paint. And then I'm also removing any extra hardware that we know we don't really need to use. Next, I'm patching any holes with some putty and moving on to wood gluing down the square lattice to the doors. I'm using a nail gun afterwards to secure it in place. Then I'm using another piece of lattice to act as a spacer between the lattice pieces to know how much room I need. This way I don't have to worry so much about getting it level. As long as I squeeze the pieces tight together, they should be straight all the way across. I'm repeating all the way around, and when it's done, it looks something like this. Oh my God, I'm so excited with how it's looking already, and it's not even done. Next up, I'm priming this with a good white primer and finishing it all off with a black cabinet paint. Also, P.S., don't worry, we have plans to paint that shelf. I just didn't get to it today, okay? Give me a break. It's so beautiful. Stay tuned for the reveal at the end and when I show Kelsey, we can see her thoughts. Okay, so I saw this photo here of this amazing two die for pendant light and I immediately thought that's what this boardroom needs. So I went out to the thrift store previously and picked up a bunch of different shade options that we can use to DIY our own version of this light. First up, we gotta choose which ones and in what order. You've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> I somehow had major success thrifting. So we have that photo of like, it was like mismatched pendants and they were yeah. all kind of like pottery-esque looking. Yeah. So I think I can paint them all to look like that, but we need to decide which ones we want to use. We have six cords. Okay. So we need six shades. These are our options? Yes. And you have to imagine them all as like shades and not as they are. So like this one can come apart without all this. That's like a lamp. I know, but oh. cause it's, I know. So I think we can put a cord through it so it would like really start here. Take it apart. I might need to get in there with the- Okay, that one I love. This I one I love. I have another one of that too. Are all of these gonna work with the lights? Should we get the lights that we picked up? I think they should all work. That's like the dream where they're all like different heights but then imagine them all painted in similar hues. Okay, so you can paint our selects. Mm -hmm. Are you painting them the same colors as the walls? Yes, well I got some extra that are in the same tones, oh. but three of those will be for the wall. We're gonna do like a light, mm -hmm. warm color. I think I have the same as the door color. Okay. So then it matches that color. That okay, nice. so this wall we're going to do in just like our lightest color. I think so. Like a light cream. Mm -hmm. And then this wall will do waves, waves of color, would you say? Yeah. Okay. Organic, people hate when I see it, because they're like, what is that? I love organic. <laughs> Things in nature are not straight lines. No. It's just the way it is. Okay, like literally, how are we gonna do that? Like draw with a pencil? I guess I'll figure that out. Let the inspiration move I through never, you. I never get to do stuff like that. <laughs> That's so exciting. our teeth. After getting the neutral color up on the wall, I decided to go in with the brighter colors. I'm just trying to like keep it natural, go with the flow, making so that everything kind of like blends together really nicely. So while Kelsey was painting the walls, I decided to take on painting the lampshades. I first took them outside to give them a good spray of spray primer. Because our inspo pick looked like the lamps were kind of made of pottery or different terracotta, I wanted to replicate that effect by doing this paint to terracotta trend that we've been seeing everywhere. 
All you need to do is take your paint, mix in a little bit of baking powder. Once you see it start to expand and rise, it's good to apply. It goes on like a thick, almost like paint mousse and dries in like a nice powdery terracotta finish. What do you mean this pendant was glass? It was pottery this whole time. A big shout out to Jen from the Collective Jen for kind of coming up with this trend. I am obsessed with it. Check her out below and her blog post all about how to do this, linked below. It's the next day and I am just cleaning up some of the lines on my mural here before we move on to the big project of the day, hanging the new light slash DIYing the new light, slash removing the old light. This looks so good. Thanks, there's just one thing. What? I might ruin it for you. Why? I can't not see a giant pile of shit. Oh, I don't see that. Okay, well Jurassic Park is my favorite movie, so it just reminds me of the Triceratops. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't look like that at all. Danny, do you like it? Danny's like another space I match, you guys. Becky just can't stop, won't stop. I didn't paint this though, but I guess I helped. You chose the colors. I pick the colors. Need to figure out this light and what we're gonna do, because I think it's gonna be a little difficult. I'm very nervous because we have to take down fluorescent lights. Oh yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was like, putting up the new one's gonna be hard. But Dude, it's all gonna be hard. Taking down the old ones too. Because the current ones fit nicely underneath the open garage door, but the new one, we wanna have pendants, so they can't be in the way of the opening garage door. Let's take down the fluorescent light first. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna have to do something funky. I, I bought ingredients, which can maybe help. <laughs> ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> ingredients to make something that might work, but that's a later problem, I guess. Okay, I guess let's move this out of the way and turn off a breaker, take down a light. Uh-huh. I'm so nervous. You know what it actually reminds me of if I had to say? What? You know the, the dudes in Mario? They're like little mushrooms and they're brown oh, yeah, and they yeah. walk around. Yeah. It looks like the giant head of one of those. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> we'll dress it up for Halloween. Oh my god. We should put the eyes on it? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So to start this potentially intimidating job, we had to take down the existing fluorescent tube lighting to make way for our gorgeous new pendant light. door opens, we can't hang anything directly where it is, right? Yeah, wanna open it? Whoa, I'm about to get decapitated. I'm about to get de decapitated. <laughs> Freaky. Okay, so my thought was like you could hang it like off balance, but we would just have to like do a lot of balancing mm -hmm. to make sure that it that hangs straight. Yeah. So it's like one one wire is in like the middle and the other wire is on the end and then the rest just like free floats. I brought string so we can like test it before doing the actual wire. Because if we have a really heavy one on that end with no string and nothing heavy on this end, it's just gonna go like this, right? As long as we have one in the middle, I feel like we're good. Would it not still like, I don't know, I don't know. This is why I need to like test it. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> okay, so this one's like here. Okay, so far so good. So I guess if we get this hung up nice and like level and centered, then we start draping our things on and we yeah. just have to make sure that the weight is even. Cause like, go put something heavy on that end with your hand, right? right? So like this needs to be like equally heavy. Yeah, <laughs> and then we just need to make sure this is like centered, centered. So like because we're, bringing the wire in more, this way the door can like go up until that point. Yeah, it can stop So we'll here. want that like as close to there as possible so yeah. that this thing isn't too far this way. Yeah. We can remeasure so we don't have another TV <laughs> if you ask to go. I feel the shade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First up, I'm measuring a center point so that we can screw in some eyelet screws. And then from that, we're going to hang a wire off of that's also gonna go down to our dowel. That's We're so professional. We are. This is like like <laughs> real stuff. Like 
We're industrial designers now. Petition for all shirts to have a pocket right here. <laughs> we just make like bibs that come back. <laughs> just like clip it on and now you have a pocket necklace. A pocket necklace. <laughs> Is that a bib? No, it's a pocket necklace. <laughs> Now let's get our our things you painted. And we should um, maybe lower the ladder one rail so we know it's not resting on this anymore. We're gonna we're gonna bounce it out. It's alright. Trust us, we are professionals. <laughs> we are very professional. We do this never. <laughs> Holy wind! Uh oh, the wind's gonna blow our light thing every day. I think it's gonna be heavy, and then it maybe won't be a problem. Oh my god! This is gonna be a lot of work. This is gonna be interesting. We just want to make it look not like junky, you know? So we picked up two of these multi-light plug-in cords. There is three lights per plug-in and we're going to be wrapping them around our long wooden dowel. Once we figured out like the layout of how we wanted them spaced, we finished them with a clove hitch drop-down knot to make sure they didn't move and stayed perfectly in place. I think they'll have more of a spread of light if they're up the higher. That is true. So it'll probably cover more of the table. Because when it's dark in here, like in the winter, you'll only have like this and then the light over there and the media layout. Honestly, that went a lot easier. Went a lot easier, smoother. Than I, I, I was stressing about it. Me too, but honestly, most of my stress was taking down that fluorescent light. It's nice when like the stress is spread because I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about this hanging straight and like breaking the shades and like dropping things and it like not working. But it hangs so straight. I can't believe that this works physics. I don't know. Okay, well maybe the last thing we do today is curtains. We have both garage door curtains as well as window curtains. Yes. Are you laughing at garage door curtains? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, end of the day crazies. End of the day crazies. Yeah, some pretty linen moments to like warm it up. This is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. But also like... What is it, our fly collection? Yeah. The flies are also just dumb. Like what am I supposed to say? What we need to add to our plant collection? A Venus fly trap? Why do we own one already? It's the best of both worlds. It solves our fly problem and it's a plant. We're gonna get one. <laughs> do they actually work? So earlier in the day, we had Ali sew us some beautiful curtains out of the fabric that we decided on at the beginning of this epi. Wow, I love it. They're so beautiful. I don't even think we need to have them, really. Good job, Ali. Good job, Ali. Thank you. Are we ready for this tarp glow up? Yep. Oh my goodness, it's so much prettier <laughs> than the blue plastic tarp. Wow, I feel like I'm in, I'm in a music video. <laughs> or a perfume commercial. You know how they're always like so dumb? It's like, oh yeah. Oh, the garage. Ew, that probably smells terrible. Don't make that a product. <laughs> It's the next day and we're going to hang a light in our couch slash living room type area. Now you might remember this light from our old loft. It was up there in the space. Uh, but before we put it here, we need to remove some more fluorescent lights. Love that for us. Did you see that? Probably. <laughs> okay. I need to get the balls first. Watch your head. Um, fire. 
No, I was not going to say that. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. You can try it higher to see it, but I don't think it should be higher. <laughs> there is a coffee table here most times. Just living my life. Oh god, it's so badly painted. I think we just didn't notice because it was so far away before. Oh damn. We have to fix it. Intern starts Monday. Okay. That's fine with me. Okay. Cute so far. So now we should just move the table. Yeah. Wow, it looks so good in here. Ignoring the things that still need to be dealt with. Damn! Our, our audio cart, which we owe so much to. You know what, normally we would move this out of the shot, but you know, we're just being honest here, the Sorry Girls. <laughs> we're real. This is our audio cart. It comes along with us wherever we record audio. It's mobile, a mobile queen, okay. Let's get these beautiful chairs in here. Yeah, every boarder needs some chairs. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's wow. That's sick. This is together, so good. I love it. It's a magazine. <laughs> All right, so the room is coming together, but something that's been bugging me is that our plants do need a little bit of TLC. I'm actually gonna head to the park to do this because then when I make a mess with soil, it's fine because it can just stay there because it's in nature. Also, I love nature. I'm repotting and trimming our hanging jade and then placing it into a basket to match the new look of the space. So remember that sideboard from earlier? Well, now is the time to reveal it to Kelsey. She also picked up one more feature, accessory, accent that we're gonna see if we wanna add to it. You can let us know your thoughts in the comments. Okay, here she comes. That? Yo, that's the one we found on Facebook? Yeah, I know. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that I handiwork. Know. So expensive. It does look expensive, like CB2 who? Oh my god, that's like the highest form of flattery. <laughs> that thing you made looks like CB2 would sell it. <laughs> okay, Cheers. this is the like handles I bought. Thinking they could go here, I guess. I but mean, like you, don't, you really don't need them because... Oh, this, there's a lip? Yeah, there's oh. a lip. I'm just like, I really don't know, like we don't have a rotary tool. Like I thought you could just get a drill bit that's this size. Do like one, two, three, four. <laughs> like why not? Or one, two, and then like yeah, lines. Like why not? I should have made the spacing on all of these just this width, and then we just pop it in. The problem solved. Like, are we gonna have gold in here? Because we have like zero gold right now. It's very like natural tones, and then this like black. black. And when you add that, it feels very like glam. When we're going very like natural. Why don't we hold on to these? And if we decide down like, once we see everything together, we want them, then we have them. If we add more brass in here, then we can add it. Okay, well now what? We got the most exciting package in the mail. Like, is, is it what I think it is? Uh-huh. Can we open it? Uh-huh. Okay. I've been like- I'm not ready. Trying to not like think about it because I, I just maybe want to open it. So I'm like, oh no, it's, it's not really here, but it's here. Danny, come on, let's go. I'm so excited. Okay, let's open this up. Danny, come on. Oh my goodness gracious. I think this is how you know you've made it when your office has a light up sign of your logo. Ah! Until that point, do you even have a company? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's see it. Ah! Thank you so much to Yellow Pop for reaching out to us and gifting us this custom LED sign of our Rose Driver logo. We're so happy with it. I think it really elevates this room and you guys can get your own with 10% off using our code SORRYGIRLS10. Words work this way, SORRYGIRLS10. They're also linked in the description below. We have a company now. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> 10 years later. 
Peter, now you have a company. We have DIY these before, but no offense. This is a little more legit. This is a little more legit. Okay, I just wanna plug it in, even though it's not hung yet. Ready? My eyes. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Ah! Holy crap. This oh is my. so, like, it's bright, but I don't know what else I expected. Yo. Oh my God, this is like the wall. If you come visit us at our office, you take a selfie by the wall. Wow, they nailed our logo, eh? I know, they did, an, it's per, like it's perfect. Also, for those of you that are new here, <laughs> this is not a spatula. Not a spatula, not a weird thing. It is a screwdriver base with a rose on top, just like that. And its name is the Rose Driver. The Rose Driver. I could not be happier with how this place is turning out. You know what I think we need to do though? <laughs> what? There's that mirror in the very sad bathroom oh. that would actually look great out here. And I use it every day for makeup, so it's gonna pain me to, to take it. It would look really good above that cabinet. It would, so I think it's time to, get the to make the sad bathroom even sadder. <laughs> That's true, I didn't know it was possible. It's like the one good thing in that bathroom. Oh, let's go to the sad bathroom. Bathroom episode coming soon, so subscribe. All right, sad bathroom, let's go, Danny. Wait, we're not even gonna address why there's a string on the door. No, just don't even address it. <laughs> okay, and go. Even Danny doesn't want to go in. He's like, no way, you go in. It's sad in there. This is our horrifying bathroom. It's, it's so very bad. embarrassing. Oh my God, this mirror is like covered in paint. This is where we clearly wash our paintbrushes, but then never put them back. But this is a mirror that's gonna look really good above the chest side table free thing. Just the free thing. Yeah, the hutch sideboard. Uh, there's so many words. Credenza. What is it? <laughs> okay, bye side bathroom. What time is it? Oh, oh, final touch time? So since the boardroom is going to be a high traffic area potentially for guests coming in the office, don't worry, we're still being safe, I swear. We are bringing in these super cool UV sanitizers from Casetify. This destroys 99% of surface germs on your phone, AirPods, keys, watches in just three minutes. Plus it's a portable wireless charger for your phone. Go to casetify.com slash the sorry girls to get 20% off of all their phone cases as well as the UV sanitizer. Of course, everything is linked in the description down below. I feel like I say this every time we finish the space, but I love this space. I think it came together so well. I also love that we only bought a couple of new pieces. There's so many DIYs and upcycles, literally free upcycles that really brought this space together. It feels so good to be in it finally in its final form. I feel like it's happy and cheery and really just embodies the vibe of the company, I feel like. Honestly, I feel like this doesn't even feel like it's in an office. It is so cute, so cozy. This could be somebody's house. It literally looks like a house. I wish I could have people over. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys check out our other Law Vibes episodes in this season or if you wanna see where we started from the bottom because now we're here, uh, you can also do that because we. this is like the fourth season of Law Vibes. And before I go, I wanted to give a final big thank you to Casetify for sponsoring this video. I don't even wanna say we're almost at two million because maybe we'll be at two million and if we're not, then you really should subscribe because that's embarrassing. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.